So hello everyone. Uh, first of all, warm welcome to everyone for today's class. Today it's going to be class on uh, wildly painting the techniques and methods used in the traditional wildly painting. So firstly, I will start with my brief introduction. Like hi, myself, my name Gupta, and I'm from a small town of Rajasthan called Bihar. Regarding my art journey, it it's like uh, there are so many ups and downs uh, in my art journey from the beginning like uh, since my childhood i was interested in arts and uh, when the kids of my age were always playing outdoor games i was always busy in creating some new piece of art mainly painting and sketching then when i grew up i pursued chartered accountancy so i am a chartered accountant by education not by profession so then i worked to different parts of world to three countries and in india also different parts of india for around 10 years so basically arts was always my passion and my hobby so it was never my profession but i participated in so many uh, art exhibitions and galleries this was complete my art complete of my art journey from beginning so first of all in my class i will give a brief description about bali tribe and how uh, this art originated the authentic ways in which this art is practiced and the contemporary ways in which it is practiced today bali painting is a form of art which is practiced um, among bali tribe in the northern part of sayadri ranges this form of art was originated centuries ago and even today it is practiced among the bali tribe people so through this art this tribal these tribal people Uh, used to depict a strong bonding between mother nature and human race they have a huge respect for the wildlife and the mother nature because they provide resources and means of livelihood to us so due in these uh, through this art form uh, they used to depict various uh, village scenes natural sceneries like landscapes wildlife uh, in one form and another another form they used to uh, depict uh, their tribal wild uh, their tribal lives like they used to show the uh, village scenes uh, festivals indian weddings tribal weddings etc yeah. so now i will okay. uh, this was a brief description about the tribal tribal people and how they used to practice their art now i will move forward towards the technique in tribal form uh, they used to uh, practice this uh, they used to paint their uh, walls of their houses and their huts Uh, with a special red clay this clay is called uh, geru in their language so they used to paint their uh, walls with the help of this clay then they used uh, rice flour mixed with uh, natural gum as an uh, 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 adhesive then they used this uh, mixture to paint with the help of a bamboo stick they were not having any brushes or anything they used to chew the bamboo stick with their teeth and they sharpened the bamboo stick and with that stick they used to paint the walls okay but in contemporary like con but contemporary artists outside okay. bali tribes okay. like us we used to uh, use uh, ca canvases paper sheets colors and brushes to paint this art so we can use this art uh, in various forms okay. like there are some of the we can make different beautiful wall arts like this and like this okay then we can make a small small greeting cards bookmarks and uh, we can make tea coasters beautiful tea coasters and we can use this form of art painting various pots and utensils etc they used to use various geometrical figures like ma mainly triangles circles and lines to make various sub various objects and various uh, shapes so these geometrical figures are the symbols and they are they came from the mother nature itself okay so this way they used to depict a strong bonding between mother nature and human race i will be teaching you some basic shapes which are used to practice bali art so basic shapes remain same in all kind of bali uh, art just uh, like basic shapes will same whether it is a uh, uh, intricate art or simple art but basic shapes will remain same so first of all we will take our color then we will mix it with a little bit of water like this is my color palette so we will take out a little bit color in the color palette 
then we will mix a little bit of water we will not make it too dilute and we will not leave it too much concentrated just this consistency we need okay so first of all we will be needing a, a thick sheet like preferably red or maroon color and then we will be requiring a poster color white poster color any poster color you can use then we will be requiring a zero number brush so we don't use any pencil or any pen uh, to practice this form of art then we will be requiring a color palette rough cloth and water so we will start with the first basic shape which is a human body so as i told you all figures will be made with the help of triangles circles and lines only so first of all i will show you how to make a human body first of all i will make a figure of man so for that we will make one line like this another line like this then basically these are two triangles then we will fill the triangles with our color then we will make a small circle on the top to make the head of the human body then we will make a neck we will just draw a small line in between head and the uh, shoulders then we will make hands how we will make hands we will just make one line two lines like this and another line like this so these are the two hands then we will make two legs like this so this is a basic human body so we have to differentiate between a man and a woman so for a man we will just make a small bread like this okay. if we will uh, we want to convert this figure into woman then we will make a bun that's it oh. that so the man converted into woman by the this difference we learned how to make a human body then i will proceed with different form of birds so first i will teach you how to make a walking bird so for walking bird we have to make a down, downward pointing triangle we we will make a triangle like this we will fill it up okay then we have to draw a small line in the front side like this then we have to make a circle on the top of line then we have to make a beak again a small line emerging from the circle then we have to make the tail of the bird how we will make the tail we will make a small triangle at the back like this then we have to fill this triangle as well we have to make some feathers in the tail so we will make parallel lines like this then we have to make legs so we will make two lines like this so these are the legs so this i will name as a human body this is a walking bird
okay now i will show you how to make an eating bird so we will make a triangle upward pointing triangle we have to fill it up then we will make a small line in the front side we will make a circle and we will make mouth open because this bird is eating so these minute differences you have to notice like uh, which i will show you these are the points which we have to notice then we will make two legs same as before now uh, the level of the beak and the legs should be same because legs are also on the ground and the bird is also eating from the ground like this then we will make the tail for tail again we will make a triangle we will fill it up then we will make feathers on the tail like this so this is a eating bird So now I will show you how to make a flying bird. For flying bird, we have to make an oval shape. We have to make a small oval shape like this. We have to fill it up. Filling the shapes is. Uh, is optional as of now if you don't have time you just focus on the class so you can fill it later on then we have to make a small circle in the front side then we have to join the circle with this oval bigger circle with a small line then we will make a beak this is optional you can make it open beak as well and closed beak as well then we have to make wings flying wings now this is a flying bird so we have to make one wing like this another wing like this so the wing will be thicker in the center and narrower on the sides then we have to make feathers so for feathers we will make parallel lines in the wings like this then we will make tail for tail we will make a small triangle like this we will fill it up then we will make feathers on the tail as well through parallel lines so this is a flying bird then i will proceed towards different animals first of all the big basic one easiest one we will make a semi circle like this and then we will fill it up then we will make a small circle then we will make two ears like this then in the front we will make small parallel lines like this then we will make legs small legs here then we will make a tail 
long spherical tail so that was the mouse now i will proceed towards i will make a different uh, another animal that is a squirrel for a squirrel is very pretty so for that i will make a comparatively longer oval shape like this then i will make three lines one two and three then bottom part i will fill it like this then we will make a small neck for a squirrel not much big then we will make two ears this time round ears not pointed ones like that and two small parallel lines for mouth and then two legs small legs here and here then a long tail like this then we have to make feathers on the tail like this so this is a squirrel then i will proceed with making um we will start with cow yeah it is a basic animal so for cow we have to make two triangles we will fill the triangles then we will make a neck a little bit longer neck not much longer at the front side we will make a small circle then we will make two parallel lines a little bit bigger ones now because cow's mouth is little bit longer then we will make two horns like this we will make two ears like this then we will make a hump on the back of cow we will fill it up then we will make two legs then we have to make hooves as well like cow has hoof in her legs we will make small triangles in the legs okay then we have to make the basic thing four breasts of cow like this then we have to make a tail like this then we have to make some hair as well so this is our cow now i will show you how to make a goat so for goat the basic body will be same with the help of two triangles so the triangles will be filled then i will make a small neck 
one small circle as a face, then small parallel lines, not longer as curve. We will make small parallel lines. Then we will make small lines for horns because the horns of goat are very short and very small as compared to cow. Then we will make ears. Okay, there is no, no hump on the cows, on the goat's back. Then uh, we, can, we can make running animals as well. So I will show you how to make a running animal in goat. So goat is running. So we have to make legs like this. Like this. Then we will make only two breasts. Then the tail is also different than cow. So we will make a long uh, a straight line. Then we have to make hairs. Like this. So this is a running goat. Okay, then the third animal I will teach you will be a dog. So the basic shape of the body will remain same with the help of two triangles. So for dog also, we will make two triangles. These triangles are to be filled. You can okay. fill it later on. And then we will make a neck, a circle for, uh, for face, then a little bit longer ears, pointed ears. Then you see the detail. You will see the detailing in the mouth. How mouth of uh, dog is different from cow and goat. So cow and goat are peaceful animals. So they don't bite and they don't bark. But dog used to bark. So they used to show it like this time. We will not make parallel lines. We will make a mouth lit wider open, like this, and we will make a small teeth inside the mouth. Just we have to create dots. Then we have to make mustaches as well. Four or five lines you can make to show mustaches. Then legs, like basic legs we can make. Okay, then tail. As they said in Hindi, like kutte ki pooch hamesha tedi hoti hai. So we have to make a spherical tail like this. So this is a dog. So there's another very beautiful animal. This will be the last animal which I will be teaching you today. Then we will proceed toward our basic theme. So that is a deer, very beautiful animal. And which is very friendly to human as well, very shy, but they don't harm. So we will make an oval shape like this. Then we will divide it into two parts. Bottom part, we have to fill it up. Then on the top part, we will make small dots. So that is a spotted deer. like this. Then we will make a small neck, a small circle for face. Then we have to make horns. The horns of a deer are longer. So we have to make horns like this. Then again, ears. Okay. Then two parallel lines for mouth. Then legs. Okay, and then the tail. Tail is different in uh, deer. So we have to make lines like this. So this is a deer.
So now we have covered almost the humans uh, fauna. Now we will proceed toward flora, that is, uh, plants and uh, leaves. So we can make trees, plants, and different kind of leaves. So there are two or three different kind of leaves I will show you today. So first of all, we will start with the basic leaves. So for that, I will make a line like this. Then we have to make again triangle. There's nothing else other than triangles in Barley art. Triangles and circles only. So we will make a triangle like this. And then we will make some triangles like this. On another uh, other side also, we will make triangles. Like this. So we can either leave the triangles unfilled, but I will recommend to fill it. It is up to your wish or your discretion. So you fill the triangles. Like I'm showing it a little bit faster, but for filling part should be uniform. It should not look like uh, messy it should be uniform okay. so if you will practice it you will get the perfection so now i will make a small parallel lines on the top of the triangles like this So this is our first form of leaves. Uh, I will show you another leaves that is circular leaves. So for that, we will make a line. Then we will make two lines like this. Then we will make circles on the top. We will make circles on the top of the lines. Then we have to make small lines on the top of the circles. Like this. Okay, now there are two or three variations in this circular leaves. We can either leave it blank or we can make small dots in the middle or in the center like this. Or if we want, we can fill the circles completely. These are the variations we can create in our drawing. So these were the two or three kind of leaves which I showed you. Now I will show you two other forms of uh, other uh, elements of nature, sun and moon. So moon is very simple. Moon is very simple for moon, just we have to make a moon like shape. Okay, now I, I will proceed with the moon. For full moon, just we have to make a circle. For half moon, just have to make a moon like shape. That's it. And we have to fill it. So this is very simple. No need to teach anything in moon. But sun is beautiful. Okay. Like this way, we, we used to make a moon. Now sun. We have to fill it, okay? Now the beautiful part is the rays, how we will make sun rays. Sun, yeah. So we will start, just observe me first. We will start from the top. We have to make, make lines in ascending order. Like we will start with the dot. 
we will make parallel lines in a starting from the uh, dot we will make parallel lines okay it depends guys then in other side as well we will make parallel lines in descending order okay like this and then we have to make it on all sides wow you can either start from the top and go to bottom or you can start from bottom and go towards top so this is a sun if you want to make it more intricate you can make dotted lines in between so these are the levels we can incorporate in our designs like this so now we will proceed towards our main drawing okay so for that uh we will make a small tree and two human figures or if you want to make one human figure i will recommend two human figures and one animal so just we will leave aside our practice sheet we will take another sheet and we will start like if you don't want to make on the complete sheet you can choose your corner so i will be making cow one woman carrying uh, some pots on her head and another woman or one man walking beside her uh, okay. we'll just have to make some one line like this okay And then we will make another line these are the branches of the tree no need to be very perfection because it is a tribal form of art so don't give emphasis on the perfection just be raw that is the basics like that is the basic of tribal art so the branch will be a little bit pointed at the top the stem and we will make it a little bit thicker as we go towards bottom of the trunk okay this is the main stem you just have to increase or decrease the pressure on your brush then for the branches also we will make it a little bit thicker as it approaches towards the center we are making only two branches you can make it uh, more branches later on so for that i will show you triangular leaves just be careful you should not smudge the other wet part of the drawing we just have to make triangles on both sides of the branch
I am not making it much intri more intricate as of now, but we can add the branches and leaves to make it more intricate, right? Yes, So we can add more branches later on. Now we will make the base of the tree. So for base, we just have to make uh, lines like this. Then we have to make a small pebbles. Then we have to make a small grass. It can be rough, no need to be very perfection in this. Then we will make two human figures, one lady and one uh, man. Lady will be carrying pots on her head. So two triangles. Then head, small circle. So this is a lady. So we will make a burn as well. She is carrying pots on her head. So how we will make pots? Only one pot we will make as of now. Just matka jisko bolte hain Hindi mein. Like this. If we want to make it intricate, we can make lines in the center. Or we can add any design we want. Then her one hand will be, of course, she is carrying the pot. Another hand, we will just leave it like this. And then her legs. So this is a lady. This is a woman. Then a man we will make. Another man. Sorry, one man only. We will make two triangles. We will fill it up. We have to be a little bit faster now. And we will let this man carry a car. He is carrying a car. So we will make hands in one side. And legs then we will start making a cow here so i think you you must be remembering how to make a cow we will make two triangles we will fill these triangles then we will make a neck a circle two horns then ears and finally mouth two parallel lines to make mouth then a hump then we will make legs then hooves don't forget to make any organ we have to make all the organs then hooves then we have to make... sorry then we have to make a tail as well. Then we have to make hair on the tail. Then okay. we will make a rope. The man is carrying the cow. So from the cow's neck, we will make a rope like this. Like this. So this animal is taming or is carrying the cow. So these are the three, four basic shapes. So we can make a flying bird as well here. So just keeping my uh, bottom shapes safe. We will just make a flying bird. For flying bird, we will make an oval shape. We will fill this shape. 
all the wali like they used to depict various stories of hindu mythology as well like ramayan mahabharata there are like uh, wedding scenes festivals all these things they used to depict through this art so we have to make wings of the bird and then feathers tail and then feathers on the tail as well so this is our flying bird yeah. uh, i'll show you this form of art like this is a village scene uh we will start from here like this woman is brooming this man is carrying something two women they are grinding some uh, cereals yeah. and the cereals is uh, spreading on the ground the animals are eating it like birds like there is okay. a mouse there are uh, three or four birds then there is a squirrel then mm -hmm. another woman she is grinding some this uh, in another uh, equipment yeah. then there are two women in a hut i have made a hut this is a beautiful hut yeah so this kind of like we can make different stories whatever we want through this art yeah there is a deep we can deep dive in this art there are so many forms there are so many figures we can make what attracts me towards art was nature since beginning like i am very much attracted to the nature and wali art is again the medium which uh, through which we can uh, come near to nature because in this mainly we are depicting on uh, human figures uh, animal figures trees plants and the interaction between human and nature so that is the basics of wali that attracted me towards this art form in wali uh, though it is a very raw form of art it is a very tribal form of art there is no perfection required in this but there is a different proportion which we are which we use to make the human figures or various human figures which we actually th those proportion differentiate one figure from another very simple basic things but very thoughtful for example if we draw human figures like first of all everything in wali art we have basically we make triangles circles and lines these three figures we are making to draw any kind of figure in wali painting so if we have to draw human figures we are drawing uh, two triangles then we have to make a circle to make a head then we have to make lines to make uh, limbs and uh, uh, to make limbs uh, that is the basic for all the figures like triangles and circles and lines in different proportion so that proportions should be measured we are not using any scale or any compass or anything geometrical any geometrical instrument to do that we are making it by draw by hand and brush but that should be proportional proportionate otherwise the figures will not look good so basically uh, uh, uh more or less they are similar but what differentiate a man and woman like uh, is the bun like if we are making a, a, a female figure we have to make a bun uh, on the head on the back side of the head and uh if we want we can make a, a female figure a little bit smaller than man than a, a male figure that is the basic difference like for example in this these two figures are there this one is male figure and this one is female figure so both are similar mostly similar but only the bun which we have made which i have made on the back side of the hat it makes it a female figure like mostly i have drawn people tree and uh, uh, like there is no uh, i have not uh, i have never came across different type of trees like only people trees and palm trees and cactus which i used to incorporate so far So, for example, if I have to make palm, it will look like this. Okay, and if I have to make any other tree, like people tree or something, I will make figure like this. And if I make cactus, like uh, you can see, this one is smaller one. So, three rounds they grow. So, these kind of drawing we are making to depict uh, cactus.
only two figures i used to make like one uh, if i make the circular one it will be the uh, a circular one with rays it will be uh, sun and if i will make half moon then it will be moon that's it so tarpa dance like they have a musical instrument which they call tarpa it is not tarpa they call it tar tarpa so tarpa ke andar it is made up of uh, uh, fully ribbed bottle guard jo hamari loki hoti hai jisko doodhi bhi bolte hain to they used to लेट इट राइव ऑन द ट्री और ऑन द क्रीपर तो जब वो बहुत बड़ी हो जाती है तो देन जब वो हार्ड हो जाती है बड़ी हो जाती है पक के लाइक वेन इट इज फुली राइव इट इज वेरी हार्ड सो देन दे यूज टू हार्वेस्ट इट एंड देन दे यूज टू मेक अ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट आउट ऑफ दैट गॉड एंड इधर गॉड और पंप कैन ऑल्सो दे यूज समाइम्स टू मेक द तारपा then they make a musical instrument out of it and on on any occasion or uh, e even in the evenings also when the community brings to uh, comes together in the evening in the leisure time or they have to celebrate something then they have to they used to play that musical instrument or, and all the men and women used to dance around that uh, musician that way they are doing the tarpa dance and it is very beautiful form of dance which they practice बहुत अच्छा लगता है जब अपन एनिमल फिगर्स और जब ट्रीज बनाते हैं तो इट फील्स लाइक वी आर क्लोज टू नेचर और इसके अंदर मोस्टली एनिमल्स और ह्यूमंस और ट्रीज ही होते हैं वी डोंट नीड टू ब्रिंग ड्रॉ बिल्डिंग्स और लैंडस्केप्स और सी एसकेप्स ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं होता जस्ट वी हैव टू मेक अ विलेज सीन और अ जंगल सीन और हार्वेस्टिंग सीन और एनी फेस्टिवल सीन तो उनके अंदर जो बनाते हैं तो जो ह्यूमन जो विलेज सीन हम लोग बताते हैं तो ऑलवेज एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन आर टूगेदर इन ह्यूमन कम्युनिटी ऑल्सो दे यूज टू शो Uh, humans and animals together there are so many trees around so it to makes me feel like this uh, special bond between humans and nature so that is the part of wardly i used to like most so uh, traditionally uh, this art was uh, made only on walls they were not using any kind of paper they were making it on uh, to color the walls of their house but uh, gradually like it is now global this art is global it is not confined to the warli village area so they are using a, a canvas they are not making it on paper but if you have to use a paper it is better to make, uh, use a hand, handmade paper we, we can use any kind of paper but handmade sheet will be the best to make because uh, it is uh, it has their own texture the textured paper so it will give you a feel of that we are making it on wall because prim uh, uh, primarily primarily they were make uh, uh painting the wall with the sand like there is a red color sand which is called geru mitti ek mitti se wall ko cover karke fir uh, they used they used to uh, use uh, rice flour to make the uh, make a white paste of rice flour then it, they use that as a color so abhi we are not making it like that so i will prefer to make it on a handmade sheet so it will give us a feel that we are drawing on a wall or on a painted wall 